Monica Gold sits by her husband's hospital bed just hours after she lost her mother to COVID-19. She's managed to find him oxygen, but not the ventilator doctors say he needs. My mom expired here in the morning today uh, because of lack of ventilator. There was no ventilator, otherwise she couldn't survive. Now, again, he, is, he needs ventilator support. Doctor says we have two days. I have tried, I don't know, thousands of numbers across India. No, nobody is helping. India's underfunded healthcare system is collapsing as it's overwhelmed by the world's biggest surge in cases. There are long lines outside oxygen suppliers around the country. There's tension here as people wait in the hope of getting oxygen for their sick relatives. Some have been waiting for more than 12 hours. But with hospitals out of beds and oxygen, these suppliers are many people's only hope. Aid began arriving from other countries this week, with the first cargo from the U.S. touching down in New Delhi on Friday. The military plane was carrying more than 400 oxygen cylinders, hospital equipment and nearly a million rapid tests. The U.S. will also send hundreds of thousands of vaccines and the raw materials needed to manufacture more. That's as many states say they don't have enough doses to start inoculating all adults from Saturday as planned. We were preparing for the vaccination campaign and we started mega campaigns also. We trained thousands of uh, our healthcare workers and doctors etc. Uh, to start this mega vaccination campaign. But there is no vaccine with us. Health experts say the government failed to prepare for the second wave. India was lucky enough to have a second, a second wave which was delayed compared to many other uh, countries out there. And we had a relatively long time uh, to see what has happened to the rest of the world in terms of how uh, severe the second wave was. And unfortunately, you know, as a public health uh, researcher, I, I sort of failed to see the kind of preparation that I, I was expecting that the government would be doing in the last one year. Manika says her mother wasn't a victim of COVID-19, but a lack of preparedness by the government, and that she doesn't know what she'll tell her eight-year-old son if she goes home without his father. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.